This is where all the t-shirts are, and I like them. And it's all because of you. Such cute t-shirts. I'm going to have trouble figuring this out. What do you think about a Bigfoot shirt, Craig? No, thank you. No? I love them. They're so cute. Legend status. Not even that one? Mm -hmm. This is our next stop, Creative Colony. I think this is like handmade gifts. Yep, there's one of the bottle trees. Well, what you do is you go out with the guys and it's empty. And then you can't, you can't go in until the trees fully bloom. You're just full of ideas. I just, I just named it the Beard Tree Challenge. Oh my gosh. Man, that's going to explode on TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to have to like really want to go up there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Craig found some sock puppets. Oh, there's a few. I think we're in the Amanda General store for three hours. They're so cute. That wasn't three hours. He's exaggerating. I love when somebody comes in and tries me on. Do you want one of those? I love when somebody comes in. Oh, it's so cute. That's like a horse. Make it say something. <laughs> You know who'd love it if you gave her a puppet show? Who do you think would love Libby? it? Libby and Josie, both. <laughs> yes, you might need I'm that. I'm going to have to get one of that. That's triple bypass survivor. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I wrapped that around my beard. Yeah. Here's another beer-related item. These are so cool. Handmade. I love the snowman. This is a tailgating mitt. So you have a regular pair of shoes. <laughs> it goes with my, my, hey, is your heart With your heart beating? attack. Yeah. <laughs> a heart attack koozie. <laughs> yeah. It says it's for coffee, but they've got it around a can. I think it'd work fine for you. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a nice conversation yeah. piece, Honestly, if nothing else. nobody's putting it around a coffee cup. <laughs> Everybody's putting it around a can of beers. Kind of cool candles. Craig's giving them a smell. I like them. You just smell that one that says stress relief. Right there. Give it a big smell. Oh. Does that make you smell relaxed? Does that make you feel relaxed? Yep. Maybe we should buy that and you could sit up by your computer and smell it if you feel overwhelmed. I don't. What do you think? Yeah, just. Should we get it? Yeah. Okay. You don't often see a Halloween room other than Halloween. Witches are cute, aren't they? Like that one. It's a bag of eyeballs. Yeah. This would be cute to sit on your front porch and put your candy in. And this is the Easter room. I wonder how much these are here. Oh, these are a lot cheaper here. This is an amazing idea. It's a puppet theater. This is just like a curtain that hangs in the doorway. It's $43. And the puppet show takes place behind it. And they have the puppets. What do you have to say for yourself, Moose Puppet? It's a or is it a, Oh, what do you have to say to your... Say for yourself, giraffe puppet. I'm a puppet. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? <laughs> I'm a sock puppet. Oh. It's a theater. Mm -hmm. It goes with that puppet theater. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. This is Margie Jane's yeah. metal art, home decor, gift ideas, and foods and snacks. Those things all sound great. Oh, look at them cardinals. Do you see these? Oh, yeah. These are the ones that the cardinal looks a little scary he's so big this one doesn't look as big as that one but maybe it is <laughs> oh, look at those huge roosters up there I love it
Yeah. I see I Craig. I see Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Mm. <laughs> what do you have to say to Bigfoot? Hi, Bigfoot. Look at those huge fish. This is just pretty cool. Oh, the church windows. I used to have one of those in my old house, but I don't have a place in this house. Oh, yeah, sure. Syrup. Noodles. Hot and spicy microwave popcorn. Oh, no, you. Oh, little jars of honey. I am the mighty duck. These are no, all very no, interesting. Don't. Oh no, you. No cinnamon. Oh, oh no, murder. Oh, look at all the different no. ciders. Cinnamon mind. apple cider. Hmm. And the yeah. jams. Third house. I like the looks of um, all I'm of the it. popcorn seasonings. No so Parmesan garlic, that sounds good. Yeah, the Flintstones, <laughs> the original man cave. That might be the sign for your room. What do you think? Is it your man cave? Yep. <laughs> Not <a real> man. <laughs> That's a Homer Simpson <laughs> sign. You know what? Craig. How do you feel about John Wayne? I don't like the sound of that one. <laughs> Have you ever seen a John Wayne movie? No. Nope. I remember seeing Rooster Cogburn and the Lady at the movie theater when I was in, I think I was still in grade school, actually. <clears throat> the person I went to see it with moved away when we were in fifth or sixth Craig, grade. One of these ciders, <laughs> Craig, which one would you want to I try? I red raspberry cider. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll pick some of that up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, we're coming back here tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Craig's had enough shopping, I think. He's ready to go back to the hotel. Here's another Christmas room. Oh. This is all handmade Christmas. Well, no, these don't look handmade. Hmm. Ooh, it is warm up here. Is this is an old two-story house. Yeah. Is it? These are, these are pretty cardinal ornaments. Yeah. Joe likes the cardinals. Just for one night. Just More homemade cards. things. Lots of little birdies. I have this exact no. <laughs> plant oh, holder. Something is cut. Oh, more stuff to smell. I kind of like, I like this. This is cute. We could set that down by the fence. These roosters, chickens. My mom was an avid collector of chickens. One time, Joe was sitting in her kitchen and all these chickens were all over her and he said it was scary in there. <laughs> it's like the Seinfeld episode with George and his girl when he moved in. Oh, with all the dolls. <laughs> he thought the dolls were looking at him. One looked like his mom. I know, I like them. Mm -hmm. I just don't know where to put them in this house. Yeah. This well, house is no, just I'm made saying, so much different. Similar to the it is, the Galen Gate, it is. It's like this one, but smaller. Yeah. I see this, <laughs> they go in more of a farmhouse, rustic house, and our house is, has, I don't know, too much of a modern look to it, I feel like. Yeah. Even with your, your four seasons, you're not going to be able to rustic. Yeah. Mm -mm. That would look really good in our front yard. And it would be easy. And I think they just used, they use those twist, not twist ties. Wire ties. Wire, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, zip ties. And we're greeted by Kermit's relatives, Craig. Yeah. They're my relatives. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I know Kermit has relatives. That is what we need down by the fence. That would be really cool. I like it. Let's see, the little one is 62. That wouldn't be very effective. This one's 93, and the giant one is 160. So the question is, what would I rather own? That Christmas tree or this giant Bigfoot? 
or a giant chicken. <laughs> oh. The palm trees are cool too, but I don't feel like they fit in so much. And the chicken is scary. That's just too scary looking. I bet that would scare it, but oh no, Livy'd want to ride it. Wouldn't that look awesome down by the chain link? <laughs> That's funny. I like the goats. $150. Which do you think is a better value? The cow or the giant Bigfoot? I can't imagine taking that Bigfoot home. Like, how do you, you just have to have a pickup? Now, how tall do you think that thing is? Eight feet? Maybe so. Say goodbye to Bigfoot. Goodbye, Bigfoot. No, he's right there. Goodbye, Bigfoot. <laughs> it is 3.30. And it's hot. It's very hot. The car says 93. I'm it's not sure hot. if it's that it's hot because it's been sitting in the sun. But it's hot. It feels like 93. We are headed to our hotel bed and breakfast oh yeah I we definitely I think we have a full day tomorrow of things to look at I would say this is definitely something you want to come and at least spend the night Homestead see Homestead three miles yeah three or three miles from Humana Colonies and Craig is definitely ready to go to the hotel What do you think these are? Would you like one or two real keys? I don't know what they are. Um, let's, let's get two. I mean, it, there might be a chance. I don't know. We're going to have to ask. These are to push okay. your oven shells. So I have a credit like when you want to pull out your oven rack. Or push I always wanted to stay at a bed and breakfast, but we mm -hmm. never have. Mm -hmm. I'll get that to you. I'll oh, wait, or email it to us too. I mean, there's no big deal. I'll get it. One of my favorite shows was New Heart when they owned the inn. Just a really cool hotel slash bed and breakfast. I really call this a bed and breakfast, not a hotel. This is an old house that they made into hotel rooms. Craig's enjoying this room. He's claimed this room. It's nice. It has chairs in it. It has a nice TV. It's very homey. It reminds me of Grandma's house. And here's the other bedroom. It has window air conditioning, but it is nice and cool in here. It's very quaint. There's a little sink out here. This is the bathroom. Oops, I don't need that on. It's definitely not fancy, but I love it. I really do love it. However, it's concerning there is no shower curtain. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I never noticed that. We might have to ask the lady about that. And I want to go show you around the rest of this bed and breakfast because I love it here. This is so bucket list. <laughs> it does come with a little refrigerator too. And we have <laughs> a little bit of roadblock. We didn't bring any shampoo or anything because there's usually some when you stay somewhere. And so far we haven't found any of that. So we might have to run to Casey's and grab something. I don't know why I didn't bring any. Nap time. Maybe I'll look around the hotel that we're staying in. Mm -hmm. 
This is like a little sitting area. That's one of the other suites. So cool, I like this. I plan on coming down here and sitting and hopefully uploading my video if the Wi-Fi will work good enough. This is also where they serve breakfast in the morning. We're looking forward to that. It has very good reviews. And if you get here between three and five, I think it is, you, they have this set out for you, which is a little sweet treat, which is some cake, it looks like. And some lemonade and some tea and some ice water. And we've actually decided to stay an extra night because we're having such a good time and we just haven't had time to see everything that we want to see. More reminders of my mom. I actually really love that, the chicken. I'm going to walk outside. There's a porch you can sit on with lots of chairs. I thought this was kind of cool. It's just beautiful out here. I'm so glad we chose this. We chose our lodging pretty last minute, so we're lucky we found a nice place to stay. I'm just loving all this Iowa history. And the lady in the lobby told me that this actually was built in 1862, and in the 1940s it was turned into a bed and breakfast. Two rabbits, one male and the other female. Uh, two bunny rabbits, a cat, and a canary. What's your favorite thing we've done today so far? We smell candles you... and the Christmas shop. Yeah, the Christmas shop was a lot of fun, wasn't it? What's your favorite thing you've ate today? Mm. The chicken strips. I knew you were going to say that. The poutines. Yeah, the poutine. That was really good. I like dad's soup. My chicken was delicious, too. We decided that none of us were hungry enough for another sit-down meal, so we're just going to grab something from Casey's and take it back to our bed and breakfast. I like how they made the Casey's even look like it fit in with the colony somewhat. Here's our dinner tonight. What'd you get, Craig? The crispy chicken sandwich with a side of Doritos, and there it's coming clusters for dessert. <laughs> and Joe got the same thing, and I got yep. some pizza. And we're trying to watch this Don't TV up here. Right, this is day two. I'm heading in to breakfast, which is served every day in the wagon wheel room. Mm -hmm. You having a good breakfast, Craig? Mm -hmm. What are you having? A slice of bread with apple butter. Mm -hmm. for you sir thanks craig's having some fruit and now they just brought us some biscuits and gravy and it looks like some maybe cheesy potatoes craig's about to dig in how are those biscuits and gravy craig tastes delicious an apple thing oh it's an apple oh okay right, so we have some biscuits and gravy along with some sausage patties. And this is apple bread pudding. Cleaning up, buddy? Yep. Good job. So how was breakfast this morning? It was good. The biscuits and gravy are taste delicious. Ready to go back to the Amana colonies? Yep. What do you want to do there today? Why are we doing the meat markets? Yeah, we're going to go to the butcher shop. We eat lunch at Ox Yoke Inn again. And we still, there's still a bakery and 
some other shops that we haven't been to yet. Actually, several. Does that sound good? Yeah. Our first stop today is the Amana Meat Shop and Smokehouse. Joe and Craig are already inside. Oh, yeah. Um, this is another shop that goes on and on. Okay, yeah. So you can open it up. Pickled ham. Meat case. This is pretty cool. So many different kinds of summer sausage. Joe's in heaven here. Lots and lots of cheese. Mm. Some different German candies. These are interesting. Oh, they have little ones, so you can try it without having to buy the big ones. These are a dollar a piece. These are candy pipes. <laughs> Some breads. I saw these at one of the other shops. Lots of German foods. This is fun. Some spatzel. Do you call it spatzel? Paprika chips. Toasted corn. I find this all very fun. Craig's enjoying this store too. There's quite a few things to look at. What'd you find over here? Oh, duckies. yeah. Big baskets of rubber duckies. Do they have German rubber duck? We need a German rubber ducky. Oh boy. Can you find one with a German hat? No, I don't. That one I think is supposed to be. Let me see. That's a sombrero. Oh, it is. That's a that's one from Mexico. Another room that has it has food mixes. Lots more German food. Here's some soap. It smells really good in here. I always love to smell the soaps, but I'm just very partial to liquid soap. <laughs> Those look good. Oh, hot peaches. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a cool shirt. I bet Joe's going to be getting that. We got a few things at the butcher shop to try right now. And we got the jalapeno cheddar beef stick this is she said like a regular beef stick it's like Linder more burger. the size of a hot dog linder burger i think that's what it was we got a little charcuterie tray and some potato salad to try i got these sesame crackers for our charcuterie that's the jalapeno cheddar there's what it looks yeah, like is that like a whole jalapeno in there Sure, it's probably a little chunk. I don't know. <laughs> there's, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a flavor in there that you typically don't get in a beef stick, and I'm not sure what it is. And I mean, like a jalapeno cheddar beef stick. <coughs> Does that mean you like it or you don't like it? Well, honestly, I can't believe I'd say, but I'm not sure if this is for me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the flavor is. If it's not for you, it's probably not going to be for me because I'm pickier. This is, she said this is like a mild beef stick, but it's oh, yeah. beef liner burger. That is very traditional, but it's fresh. And you like it? Yeah, I like this. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you probably want to take the skin off. It smells very smoky out here. 
We're just at a picnic table, just a little ways down from the butcher shop. Craig, how's the cheese and crackers? Mm. <laughs> Caught him as he was eating a cracker. The cheese and crackers and it looks like salami look pretty standard. But we will give it a try. So I tried the the salami and the cheese on a cracker and it's very good. It tastes a little different than the salami you would typically get at like a grocery store. But better, I mean in a good way. I don't know if it's because it's fresher or Seriously? why, but it, it just tastes like a better quality. It's a weird statement, but it almost looks like it's a little watery. Well, that's why it seems more moist. Or maybe it's more fatty. That might be what it is. Craig's mainly just eating the cheese and the crackers. We haven't op we haven't tried the potato salad yet, though. The crackers have zero salt on them. Mm -hmm. I like that with the cheese and this because yeah. you taste the flavor of the meat and the cheese that way. I feel like better. It didn't. It didn't stand out. But it's good. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Now, it's potato salad for me isn't the, my kind of potato salad. It's more of a. Well, I'd say it's a lot more watery. There's well, it's, more. It's, it's mayo based. <clears throat> well, mine mine is mayo and, and and mustard. Yeah. And that has both those in it, but more. And the potatoes and, are in chunks. And I don't think there's hardly any. There's hardly any relish. I don't even know if there's potatoes. egg in it. Yeah. You mean, or eggs. No. There's potatoes in there. That's potatoes. potatoes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, mean, there's, there's I mean, it's good. It's just not, I like potato salad that is riced. So the potatoes are not in chunks. I will say these potato chunks are cooked through. They're not <clears throat> crunchy. Like sometimes when you get potato salad. I just prefer mine, and I prefer mine to be just more of a creamy yeah. rather than that one's more of, it actually is like the potatoes and then they poured the dressing like stuff on them. Yeah, but That's more like what my mom put. Right, I remember your mom's was different than my mom's. Basically eggs, potatoes. Yours mom's had a lot of mustard. I mean a lot of mayo in mayo. it, not so much mustard. Not as much mustard, yeah. That's what I grew up with. And my mom's, my mom actually, she actually mashed her potatoes and a lot of people would. I don't like that at all. That's what I grew up with and I loved that. <clears throat> now I, I don't mash mine, but I, I do like to run mine through a potato racer. And I like lots of onion and egg and mustard. Craig, he likes potato salad, but apparently he doesn't like the looks of that one because he's not trying it. <laughs> okay, How's that I'm. Special Amanda Diet Pepsi. It's good. <laughs> Is it better than other Diet Pepsi? Yep, it's Diet Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I tried the beef, this beef stick. I can't remember what it's called, but I did really like that. It's very mild and there's not a lot of pepper in it, and I'm not a pepper person. I'm going to try this one, which I'm a little scared about because if Joe doesn't care for it. Was it was it just jalapeno? It's jalapeno. Or, I thought it was cheddar, too. Yeah, I don't see any cheddar. Okay. I think it was just a jalapeno beef stick. And maybe that's... Hmm. It's not terrible like I was afraid of. No. But I tasted it. Like it's not, I think it's the jalapenos. Like Are they pickled? Yes, there's a seasoning in there. I'm trying to place it. Almost like a sweet, but spicy. Is it coriander? There's a little spice to them, though. It's not terrible. It's definitely... I'm. For me, it would remind me of a Dutch spice, mm. but I don't know a lot about German spices either. 
maybe it's a sweet paprika. They're not, they're not terrible. They're not off-putting. It's just very different from any beef stick I've ever tried. I can't say I'm a beef stick connoisseur. Iowa Smokehouse has a lot better. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'd say try it if you stop here because it's definitely something that's unusual tasting and not really off-putting. Yeah. Like Craig, that. what did you think of that beef stick? I think it tastes good. You like it? I have to say, I think this is my favorite snack that we've tried. I think maybe because I'm not always, but often a more of a savory. I like savory. The sweets get to be just too much. And I want to add that yesterday we tried a lot of sweets, but we tried them. We didn't eat the whole thing, especially from that bakery. I think we each took about one bite of each of those things and we're done with them seems a bit wasteful but yeah we just wanted to try some things i would say that was my least favorite thing we've tried i didn't think those bakery things were anything exceptional yeah even the lemon bar I know. yeah i thought it was kind of weird it's too thick it's yeah too that's thick. what i thought yeah i didn't really care for any of that stuff very much i always like the traditional lucy's lemon bars yeah Little orange well, peanuts cookbook. I like the lemon on top <laughs> to look you know, like you know. lemon meringue pie lemon. That, that almost looked more like <laughs> Craig's eating like a a chipmunk. I don't know. <laughs> who eats like that, Craig? Chipmunk. No, who do? Where'd you learn to eat the cracker like that? I don't know. Is it off of a cartoon or a video? Mm -hmm. What one? I don't know. <laughs> Just have, saw it somewhere. It looked fun, right? Have another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I know I've seen that on something. <laughs> he was eating oyster crackers like that. Yeah, I saw him. They're so and tiny. Was, and he was, it's almost like. Like that cartoon where the guy eats the ear of corn yeah, like a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up on Looney Tunes. We know a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I stand corrected because. The eating the ear of corn like a typewriter was not Looney Tunes. What what cartoon Mickey's was it? Trailer. The uh, cartoon. Was it Heckle and Jekyll? No, Mickey and Donald. Oh, I think maybe I'm thinking of a different cartoon. No, it's not a trailer. You mean a camper? No, it's a cartoon. But it's just. A What's trailer? the cartoon about? Who eats the ear of corn like that? Mickey and Donald. Oh, maybe it is. In my oh, mind, oh, I'm oh. envisioning a, envisioning crows doing that. I'm gonna have to look that up. I think we found the toy shop and Craig's excited about this. He hasn't been very excited yet this morning. Of course, he had plans that we were going home today. Oh yeah, this is so cute. This is a good one for Craig. Oh, look at these. It's a plushie with a smile. <laughs> I love that there's a whole Bigfoot section. Craig needed this this morning. I've been going to boring stores for him so far. If they're not boring. Oh, I guess you like them. <laughs> Classic Craig. They had those when I was a girl. Mr. Rogers section. The Bob Ross section. I have not been in a toy store like this for a very long time. And I love it. Lots of cool books. What'd you find, Craig? Dinosaur puppy. Me show me? Oh, you're going to try it on? Oh, yeah. We have one of those at home, I think. Is the dinosaur happy or angry? Happy. Dragon puppet has to say. <laughs> He's just going to breathe some fire, right? Is he a friendly dragon or a... Be friendly. That's good. I'd love to put this bonnet on my cats. <laughs> and what you don't know about Bennett is he used to have a huge afro and people called him Bob Ross. He even dressed like Bob Ross for Halloween one year. I'm gonna have to bring up some pictures of that because they're really fun.
His goal was to grow his afro so big it wouldn't fit in his senior pictures. Luckily, he got it cut before then. I found the most awesome sound machine. It's a goat one. Oh, this is... Ramsey, if you're watching, these definitely remind me of you. But they only have them in kid sizes. A stretchy pizza. They got weird necks. And... Yeah, I think we need to get that for Livy and Josie. They'd love playing with that. And Tilly. Are you putting on a pig finger puppet show? Sort of. Let me see them. Can you? There we go. That's adorable. Do you want those? No. Those are so fun. I think Livy would like those too. I think Craig is really leaning towards, he likes the puppets today. Craig found a fun toy. I decided just to ha do ox yoke in for lunch again because I feel like they have a bigger menu, more things that I like on it. So here we go for round two. And Craig and Jill are already waiting for me inside. We're in the founder's room. I'm not terribly hungry, but Craig likes to eat by noon, so <laughs> here we are. He likes to eat by <clears throat> noon. I mean, right now it's 11.34, and if we don't have lunch soon, Craig's going to get more and more agitated, so. You like, what time do you eat at What time do you eat 11? Yeah, he liked to eat lunch at 11, but we've held him off down? this long. You come down, like, like at 10, 10 54 to warm his stuff up. Right, well he likes it to be ready at 11 o'clock. So that's why we're eating this early and Joe and I aren't really hungry. So I'm going to try these potato pancakes, which sound pretty good. I think Joe said he was just going to get sweet potato fries. Just get sweet potato fries. Just and then just guess what Craig's getting? What are you the getting? Chicken, the chicken, chicken. And we're going to get some onion rings. Chicken tenders basket. The chicken tenders basket. Perfect. And no coleslaw? Yeah. Ah. fries. <laughs> I'll have it with honey mustard. Perfect. And what do we want for an appetizer, Craig? Onion rings. Mm hmm So the berry mojito is one of their specialty drinks, and I wanted to try it. I had a strawberry mojito when we were at Disneyland, but it didn't have any alcohol in it, and I really liked it. And I wanted Joe to get an old fashioned mm -hmm. because... I want to try it, and I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to like it, but I want to try it because I see so many people trying it in videos. Our onion rings come in a cone. Look at that. You can tell that those were freshly made. And they're very hot. Never mind, my hair's a disaster. We weren't plan planning on staying today, so I didn't really bring all my stuff to, to my hair, but I'm going to try this. It's not really for me. I still hold to my thought that bourbon tastes like magic marker smell, <laughs> which Joe hates when I say that, but that's what I always get. like magic markers. He also likes baking chocolate, so <laughs> I'm going to try the mojito. <laughs> oh, that's much better. This I like. It's delicious. I like the onion rings. Tastes good. These aren't, these are, you know, I don't know where you're from, but like my favorite onion rings are where they make them in-house. A lot of them are skinnier than this. These have a, a puffier beer batter, but I think they're going to take delicious. I think they're going to taste delicious. Well, they're hot though. And they are very hot. I hear the crunch. On a scale of one to 10, what do you give the onion rings? 10 stars. Me too. These are 10 out of 10. These are some of the best onion rings I've had. Chicken tenders today look almost like chicken fillets. They're so big. And they're really hot. <laughs> Here's Joe's sweet potato fries. These look amazing and they serve them with honey mustard, which really I never would have thought of pairing them with honey mustard. What do you think? It goes really well together. 
I'd like that, but then lots of times they serve them with like brown sugar and yeah, marshmallow, and I, that's too sweet for me. Cause you can't. I like the taste of the sweet potato fry actually. I like them with just like Yeah, I like that too. And here's my potato pancakes with a side of applesauce and some maple syrup. I'm anxious to try and see what these are like. I think it was my grandma that used to make potato pancakes out of leftover potatoes many years ago. They didn't look like these, but I did like hers. So we'll see how these compare. Okay, I'm having to get a little creative here so I can show the taste test. Very tasty. I never would have imagined them with applesauce, but it actually has a good content. I'm going to try them with the maple syrup. Mm. I like them both ways for different reasons. With the syrup, they taste a little more like a pancake type of taste. Oh, and I tried the sweet potato fry with the honey mustard, and it was really great. I would have never guessed. Across the street is a winery. And we're headed to the Amana Heritage Museum. It's time to learn. I've never been to an Amana Museum before. Christmas ornaments. My weakness. That's cool, isn't it, Craig? Pretty cup. Oh, yeah. Eighteen dollars. We watched our video, or actually, it was a movie on the Amana Heritage, and now we're heading over to the museums. I actually enjoyed that little film quite a bit. In school, I didn't enjoy history at all, but maybe it's now because I'm a part of history. Everything is more interesting as you see the world keep changing. How do you feel about that video, Craig? It makes me wonderful. You thought it was wonderful? It was a good time for a nap, wasn't it? <laughs> Do we go inside of here? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I didn't know if we were supposed to go to that or what are we doing? I guess we can do whatever we want. Yeah, you can kind of, but she said it was here and then that's the watch house. Yeah. First room, look at that, the marching band. That's interesting. <laughs> so I've got. I've got that. I've actually got both of those beer cans in my beer can collection from when I was a kid. You can tell there's, see there's the pull tops on. And that's not, that's a newer one, but see that's a pull top here on this one. Did you see that RC Cola pyramid in the- I've got a bunch of those. Oh, did you see it though? Because it reminded me of the seven up cans that used to be in yeah, your dad's basement. Yeah. That are in our- That are in our- now, Yeah, in boxes. Up. Yeah, no, I've got a lot of those RC cans too. Yes, Joe has quite a beer can collection. And the joke used to be, especially when we were first married, that the beer can collection was going to go on the landing on shelves in our split level. <laughs> Never happened. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where we go from here. The story of the Amana colony is very interesting. I encourage you, if you're in, if you're interested in history, to look it up. Made me kind of wish I was there in some ways, but that hard work, maybe not. <laughs> Women working in wool and dresses, long sleeve dresses and hats that didn't look like fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
must have had good cats back then. Look at them brushes. <laughs> Joe is funny, isn't he? <laughs> so what's next after the Amanda Cummings, Mama? What are we gonna do after the, the Amanda? Cheriton? Oh, what's our next trip? Yeah, we'll take a the Sheraton. Sheraton. We'll take a road trip to Sheraton. We used to go to Sheraton all the time when we lived in Knoxville. Well, not all the time, but maybe once a month, Craig and I would take a trip there to the Amish store and they have a, a special little grocery store called Piper's Candy that's fun. I totally didn't realize that the first microwave came out in 1968. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the commercial. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, for a long time, only rich people had microwave ovens. <laughs> and now they're like $20. I mean, for a small one. Well, they're probably more than that now. It's been a while since I bought one. Or even the large ones are, what, 100, 150? <clears throat> it was pretty exciting when we got our first microwave. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but my father actually came to the United States from Germany when he was 16 years old. So I've heard many stories about Germany and Yugoslavia. Yeah. So this is all kind of special to me too, for that reason. It seems, I guess what appeals to me about the story of the Amana colonies is the sense of community and how they all work together to build the community and to feed each other. I love that idea of the communal kitchen where they all work together to, one kitchen would feed 10 families. I know it was a lot of hard work, but they didn't know anything else back then. That's how it was. Hey, sir. This is, what did they say? This is the wood shop and the washroom. Yeah. So they didn't have it. It's kind of ingenious how they had the. They did that. The water would come in. Oh yeah. Where they could wash in that tub, and they heated the water. We're going to check out the winery. We haven't been to one of the wineries yet. I think there's three. It's more than a winery. This is nice. Oh, look at this beef jerky. Everything beef jerky. Interesting. <laughs> we gotta get these, don't we, Craig? Yeah. Everything pizza flavored for me. Lots of cheese and beef sticks. Garlic. And some of this stuff looks a lot like what they had in the smokehouse. This sounds good to me. The pickled garlic asparagus. Lots of salsas. Pickled quail eggs. Lots of oh, toasted onion mustard. This sounds amazing and I have to buy this. These different kinds of wood, and then they take them out and It's pretty cool. Baked lips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> but I like the gnome scrubby. That's cute. Food you learned. Some of these are inappropriate. Yeah, <laughs> very inappropriate. What is it? It's a fishing pole for making s'mores. Oh. Oh, and you hold that over the fire. <laughs> That's fun. A hot dog too. Yeah. That's pretty clever. I like that. Mm. 
This looks like something for the Bennetts. I need a cheese cutter like this. It's very heavy. I don't know if I need a marble one, but. We are now headed to the Coraville Mall. Taking the back way in. I think we've shopped all we can shop at the Amanas. Actually, I could probably shop more, but <laughs> I think I've done enough. <laughs> so we're going to check out the Corville Mall and have dinner there tonight. Very possibly, what's it called? Now I can't think of it. Something Panda. Panda Express. Panda Express. We're likely going to eat dinner at Panda Express in the mall. Destination, the Corville Mall. Across the street is a winery. And we're headed to the Amana Heritage Museum. It's time to learn. I've never been to an Amana Museum before. Christmas ornaments. My weakness. That's cool, isn't it, Craig? Mm. Oh, yeah. $18. Yeah, there's a lot. We watched our video, or actually, it was a movie. 
on the Amana Heritage and now we're heading over to the museums. I actually enjoyed that little film quite a bit. In school I didn't enjoy history at all but maybe it's now because I'm a part of history. Everything is more interesting as you see the world keep changing. Yeah. How do you feel about that video, Craig? It makes me wonderful. You thought it was wonderful? It was yeah. a good time for a nap, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Do we go inside of here? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I didn't know if we were supposed to go to that or what are we doing? I guess we can do whatever we want. Yeah, you can kind of, but she said it was here and then that's the one house. Yeah. First room, look at that, the marching band. That's interesting. So I've got, I've got that, I've actually got both of those beer cans in my beer can collection from when I was a kid. You can tell there, see there's the pull tops on, and that's not, that's a newer one, but see that's a pull top getter on this one. Did you see that RC Cola pyramid in the, I got in, a bunch of those. Oh, did you see it though? Because it reminded me of the 7-Up cans that used to be in yeah, your dad's basement. Yeah. That are in our That are in our garage now. Yeah, not in boxes. Up. Yeah, no, I've got a lot of those RC cans too. Yes, Joe has quite a beer can collection, and the joke used to be, especially when we were first married, that the beer can collection was going to go on the landing on shelves in our split level. <laughs> Never happened. <though>. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> the story of the Amana colony is very interesting. I encourage you if you're in if you're interested in history to look it up. Made me kind of wish I was there in some ways, but that hard work maybe not. <laughs> Women working in wool and dresses, long sleeve dresses and hats that didn't look like fun. <laughs> well, they must have had good cats back then. Look at them slicker brushes. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is funny, isn't he? <laughs> so what's next after the Amanda Connie's mama? What are we gonna do after the, the Amanda? Charitin? Oh, what's our next trip? Yeah, we'll take a the Sheraton. Sheraton. We'll take a road trip to Sheraton. We used to go to Sheraton all the time when we lived in Knoxville. Well, not all the time, but maybe once a month, Craig and I would take a trip there to the Amish store, and they have a a special little grocery store called Piper's Candy that's fun. I totally didn't realize that the first microwave came out in 1968. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the commercial. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, for a long time, only rich people had microwave ovens. <laughs> and now they're like $20. <laughs> I mean, for a small one. Well, they're probably more than that now. It's been a while since I bought one. Or even the large ones are, what, 100 150 <clears throat> It was pretty exciting when we got our first microwave. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but my father actually came to the United States from Germany when he was 16 years old. So I've heard many stories about Germany and Yugoslavia. Yeah. So this is all kind of special to me too for that reason. It seems, I guess what appeals to me about the story of the Amana colonies is the sense of community and how they all work together to build the community and <clears throat> to feed each other. I love that idea of the communal kitchen where they all work together to, one kitchen would feed 10 families. I know it was a lot of hard work, but they didn't know anything else back then. That's how it was. Thanks, sir. Hmm. 
This is, what did they say? This is the wood shop and the washroom. Yeah. So they did have it. It's kind of ingenious how they had the. They did have the water would come in. Oh yeah. Where they could wash in that tub, and they heated the water. We're going to check out the winery. We haven't been to one of the wineries yet. I think there's three. It's more than a winery. This is nice. Oh, look at this beef jerky. Everything beef jerky. Interesting. <laughs> we gotta get these, don't we, Craig? Yeah. Everything pizza flavored for me. It's of cheese and beef sticks. Garlic. And some of this stuff looks a lot like what they had in the smokehouse. This sounds good to me. The pickled garlic asparagus. Lots of salsas. Pickled quail eggs. Lots of um, toasted onion mustard. This sounds amazing and I have to buy this. It's pretty cool. Baked lips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> but I like the gnome scrubby. That's cute. Food you learned. Some of these are inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Very inappropriate. What is it? It's a fishing pole for making s'mores. Oh. Uh. So you flip it in and I'm assuming it stops and it's clear out. Oh, and you hold that over the fire. <laughs> That's fun. A hot dog, too. Yeah. That's pretty clever. I like that. This looks like something for the Bennetts. I need a cheese cutter like this. It's very heavy. I don't know if I need a marble one, but. We are now headed to the Coraville Mall. Taking the back way in. I think we've shopped all we can shop at the Amanas. Actually, I could probably shop more, but <laughs> I think I've done enough. <laughs> so we're going to check out the Corville Mall and have dinner there tonight. Very possibly, what's it called? Now I can't think of it. Something Panda. Panda Express. Panda Express. We're likely going to eat dinner at Panda Express in the mall.
at the end, and I can see a T. Bart. Bart, yes. Tiffin. Because usually ice cream stores are bars also. I'm going to see, oh my goodness, yes, it's an ice cream store and, and restaurant. a restaurant. restaurant. Ice cream. <laughs> Destination, the Corvo Mall. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the hockey, the skating rink. Ice skating. There's the Children's Museum over there. Oh, I see Panda Express already. It's the mall directory. The smell of that Sbarro's pizza always gets me. And of course, there's Chick-fil-A. Okay, zeroed in on some plushies, I think. Nope, I think he's gonna pass on by. Entering one of Craig's favorite stores. I like it here too. puppets. That's a cute frog. Is he a Caribbean amphibian? Yep. Smart boy. Smart plumber. Smart plumber, huh, Mama? Mm-hmm. You mean Mario? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the Sesame Street. He's wearing a face mask. <laughs> the 2020 version of Elmo. Yeah. My George, you know, can't help but think of Libby and Josie when I'm in these stores. I hear Craig. Didn't take too long to find Craig. What is that? The Gruffalo. Is that from where the wild things are? No, from the book The Gruffalo. Oh, it's a different book. You see his face. He's cute. <clears throat> Drug Craig around to stores all day that he didn't care about, so I guess this is his turn. 
What is it, Craig? <laughs> is it a basketball? No, it's a superhero. Yep. Craig found what he was looking for. Simpsons. Found the Disney section. Craig's got his Panda Express. He got some honey sesame chicken. We got some crab rangoon and a chicken egg roll. Craig's been excited about this all day. I'm still deciding what I want to eat. There's some not too bad of options here. Craig, how's your sesame chicken? Good, Mama. Okay. Craig, can you give me a review of a Panda Garden here in the food court? Panda Express is the best food court. The sesame chicken tastes delicious. The waitress seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a Craigie Bamboo Super Approval. All right. The waitress was really nice. It was very helpful. Mm -hmm. One of our viewers would like to know if you collect anything. Webkins. Yeah, you collect webkins. Mm -hmm. You collect anything else? Yowie animals. Yes, you do have the yowies. Mm -hmm. How long have you been collecting those webkins? Since 2011, which is 12 years. That's a long time. Yeah. One of our viewers wants to know, have you ever heard of the British TV show from the 80s? It's a claymation show called Trap Door. Yeah, the Trap Door? Mm hmm. A blue, a blue creature and a talking skull and a spider. Mm hmm. Did you like that one? Yeah. Here we are, breakfast day two at the bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Was it? You couldn't read it. Looks like so far there's some um, strudel, I think that is, or a Danish. And we have an assortment of breads and some jellies. Good morning. So far, so far we have some fruit and a little Danish. Looks like Craig's enjoying his fruit over there. How are you feeling this, this morning? Feeling good, Mom. Good. Are you anxious to go home? Mm-hmm. Okay, so our breakfast today is some scrambled eggs and a breakfast casserole with hash browns and ham in it. And we got some tomatoes on the side, which Craig doesn't know about. So how does how does that? Good. Have you, have you tasted the breakfast casserole yet? Well, it tastes good. Yeah. Craig and I have been talking about breakfast casserole because he'd never heard of it before. And we've decided that we are going to try and make one at home. Right, Craig? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Butter side up. <laughs> Dad knows what Craig likes. You want some jelly on it? Mm -mm. Butter toast is pretty good, isn't it? We stopped at the meat market before we headed home to because we wanted to pick up some things that they had. I guess it's called a butcher shop. And then we head home. Yep, we'll head home. And I picked out this blueberry lemonade for Craig to try. He waited in the car. He's all shopped out. What yeah. do you think? Tastes like blueberries and lemonade. It really does. I'm really surprised. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet though. I'd like for it to be a little more tart. All right, we decided to make one more stop before we head home at the High Amana General Store. Yeah, it's in a little, it's in one of the, it's, it's in a different colony than the main street, so we haven't been here yet. We had to come here, yeah. Oh, you did holler out Little House on the Prairie. Everybody does when they come here. It does. It does. 
So we were established in 1858. Everything's original in here from ceiling to floor. The tin ceiling was unique because it came in six foot rolls and not the tiles that we're used to. Oh yeah. Counters and display cases are original. We've turned them so you can go behind the counters all the way around the store. Okay. Coming out back here. So you can come no, look at the cookbooks. And uh, we do locally crafted items. Do you have fun looking around? Yeah. If you have questions, please ask. Okay. I do too. I'm so glad we stopped here. Oh, and more postcards. I meant to buy some more postcards. They're only 50 cents a piece. I try to buy a postcard from every place we visit. Did you find Craig? Check out this smooth, chocolatey outside. The crispity, crunchy, peanut buttery inside. In the high Amana store, Craig has found a Butterfinger. <laughs> He's also been enjoying the toys in here, the German toys. Oh, What's look. A Shirley Temple. I was looking to see. I don't. We're probably going to have to buy some of this root beer so we can have a root beer tasting. We haven't had that kind before. Look at that, Craig. Do you want to get a Butterfinger, Craig? Yeah. Okay. We can buy the Butterfinger. This is your choice. Okay. Craig is ready to go home. All right, we're on our way home and we decided to stop at Arby's for lunch. We have spent the morning visiting a few other shops before we went home. Craig wasn't really that happy about it, but he did okay. He's just ready to be home and ready to not be shopping anymore. <laughs> but there is so much to see here. Just in not only the Amana colonies, but this area. I feel about Arby's having burgers now. I can't imagine not getting roast beef here. Also did not know that Arby's has gyros. Today we all got beef and cheddar sliced extra thin. How's your sandwich tasting, Good. Craig? Mine's delicious. Craig? Can you give me a review of Arby's today? Arby's is the best sandwich place of all. The beef and cheddar tastes delicious. The waitress seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a Craigie Van Roo silver approval. I thought it was really good. It's probably one of the best Arby's sandwiches I've had in a long time. Pro tip, when you go to, Arby when you go to Arby's, ask for your roast beef to be sliced extra thin. Mm -hmm. It makes a big difference. Giraffes can't dance. Okay. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were, he were rather thin. <laughs> he was very good standing still at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. <laughs> Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Joe felt so sad because when he, when he came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs start waltzing, the Naranos rocked and rolled, and the, the lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a Latin fe very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. 
Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lion saw him coming, and they soon soon began to roar. Hmm. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffe can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted up to, to the spot. The right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such like such a clod. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Hmm, the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <clears throat> Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who had seen Gerald early on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is just is playing just for you. Everything makes magic if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Joe felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Joe felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing! Yes, I am dancing! I am dancing! Joe cried. Then one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Joe boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must have been in a dream! Joe is the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen! How did you learn how to dance like that? Please, Joe, tell us how. But Joe simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised up, raised his head, and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And this is Craigie Ferris saying, keep on having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.